Kid had brought me to the theater. I wasn't walking away now. Okay, we can't go that way. The door may have been too thick, but I couldn't hear anything. Nothing special about this door. I couldn't open the door. Right, so there's gonna be a lot more of these doors we can't open. And you know what? I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. Um. Why are there pot plants on top of that door? The door was shut fast and wouldn't open. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have tried. Nope. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. There's lights over by that door. Does that mean something? Probably not. Like, it's almost off the map anyway. I couldn't open the door. It was locked. Right, right. Huh, okay, so we got this. Oh, look, a red car. Red car. Dun dun dun. I could see the mask the traffic warden had described. I was in the right place, all right. <laughs> it even did the zoom in thing. You see that? There was nothing else inside apart from the mask. Steal the car. <laughs> the door was locked. So? I had no way of opening it, short of throwing a brick through the window. Do it. Are we playing Grand Theft Auto or not? It was the Red Jaguar that had nearly run me over. Look, do the killer it. clearly had the connection to the theater. It looked like I was on the right track after all. Nico Collard, you need to learn from Nico Bellic and just smash that window. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, nothing there. What's down here? Oh look, is that window? Nope. Look, a big fat dead end. And there's not eno enough space to turn your car around, neither. That, that's good. That's great. Great place to just end the street with no way to turn your car around. So there's like stuff here. There's a ladder up there. But we can't actually get up there. And there's a ladder up there, but we can't get up there, neither. And... That's it. Okay. Locked. Probably from the inside. I wasn't going to get in there, but there had to be some way in. Right. So this is the back of the theater. The ladder looked like a good way up onto the theater roof, but it was pulled up and too high to reach. The ladder looked like a possible way up. All I had to do was reach it. Well, this is how the camera angle changes so you look up as well, so you can see it more clearly when you're standing in this spot. So that that's good, like that, that's the camera's helping you out there. Nothing in the inventory. Huh. So, um... Can we climb up this thing? Just slowly walk around here and make sure we don't miss anything we can do here. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> look at that, down the bottom right. Like you have to stand right at the edge and look in th that direction for that icon to even show up. Like if you just walk, run past. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, look, there's uh, nothing. This is so incredibly finicky. In 
and it doesn't tell you the first time, neither. Like, you only know that because the last time it happened, there was like a war, and there was no clue that you could jump over the wall. And so, you, you know, after we've gotten past that, now we realize we have to look for these things. Climb up. No, other side. Climb up. Alright, what's back here? Nothing? Yeah, don't run into the wall. And that. Oh, wow. It just needs to be a little bit more obvious. It just needs to be a little bit more obvious. And that's not even it. That's not even where you're meant to go. Thanks, game. Okay, there's one more up here. Climb up to the roof? No? Okay. Can we get over here? Is this seriously a maze? It is. It's, it's seri seriously a maze. We can jump down. So we get past that. Get down. What are you doing? And now we have a ladder. Does that ladder look like it's on the other side to you? I guess it's not. Oh joy, parkour mazes. Okay, we can get up here, but what's back here? Nothing. Right, so we're getting up there. I guess it's not too bad once you figure it out. What? The billboard was attached to the scaffolding with a thin piece of string. It wouldn't take much to pull it loose. How is that even possible? A thin piece of string. You know, you know there's such thing as wind, right? Like when you have a billboard up, you need it to be strong enough to not be blown over by the wind? It was a gamble, but my options were limited. Well, I had untied the billboard, and nothing had happened. Maybe it was stuck at the bottom. Push it. I had already untied the billboard. Maybe it's stuck at the bottom. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've. Get down, Nico. I have to get down there. How do I get down there? Shimmy me across the edge? No, why can't I just hang off the edge? Uh, wow. Get up, get up, thank you. This is not intuitive, these controls. Get down. Where do I get across? Not here. get across here? Yes, go this way. Look, this camera is not helping. Can I jump across? Yes, I can. Where's... What? Okay, okay, okay. Here, and we can go up. crate. Oh, look, and then we have a crate puzzle. You can't turn around without falling off? Alright, well, get up. What does that say on that billboard? The base of the billboard was attached by metal clips. <laughs> Success. 
vandalized. I was risking death with every step, but so what? I felt like I was under a death sentence already. I'm sure there's much easier ways to get up here. Like that ladder at the bottom of this staircase. Yeah. Good. That was close. I was trapped on the theater side with no way back. Yep. We're breaking things. Get up the ladder. Oh wow. Okay, what can possibly go wrong? What can possibly go wrong? The door was shut fast and wouldn't open. All was quiet. Hmm. The door had nothing remarkable about it. Thanks. So we had to try all that just to find out it's useless. It was just a door. Nothing particularly special. I couldn't open the door. I, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, why are there three options for interacting with it? Like, first of all, none of them actually ever does anything. So why is that even there? And secondly, why don't you just have one option for trying the door? And then the game will just choose one if something happens. Like you can look at it, try to open it, or listen to it. But where in this whole game has it made any difference at all? Like if you listen to it first and then open it. Where where would that, that have been better than if you just open it straight away? Like, these are completely redundant options. You don't need that. Like, why don't you just have one button that says "Try the door," and then, like, if there's a if there's a key in the lock, then you'll find out, or if there's sound on the other side, then you'll find out. If it opens, then you'll find out. Why do you need to try three different things? I couldn't open the door. And like, like when you try to open the door, you don't see the key. You you have to look at the door to see the key. Why is that? Hmm. The door had nothing remarkable about it. I mean, logically, you'd say, okay, well, that's just realistic. But gameplay-wise, it's boring. It's boring and slow. It doesn't help the gameplay. And in the end, you end up with the same thing anyway. You, you find the key, or you open the door, or whatever it is. Like there, you can listen, open, or, or look. But let's go back outside. I just opened it straight away, and that's what you meant to do. But let's say you hear, and you listen to it. I couldn't hear anything through the door. Useless. You look at it. It was a door onto the roof. Useless. So you're supposed to open it and go in. So why are the other two options there? They don't serve any purpose. It's not like you gain an advantage by examining it first. Like, the, the game is basically wasting the player's time, giving them redundant options that don't actually do anything. Like, that's not... Like, what, what part of that leads to a better game? It doesn't. Right, so we can't go that way. Fine. Spiral staircases. Good job, Nico. Listen. Nothing but silence behind the door. Nothing. Look at it. The door looked well made. Well made. Open it. Why have those other two options there? What's going on here? That's the ticket booth. Let's check the ticket booth. There might be things in here. Is this the ticket booth? Am I is this right? It looks right. No money though. Alright. This, this camera is not showing me anything useful. There was somebody coming. Oh. I had to hide. Okay. The popcorn stand was my only option. I 
I shall miss Paris, my dear. It has been charming, has it not? I shall never forget it. But the city is becoming unstable, and we have no need of this base. When will we leave? Soon. My plans are working out perfectly. No, of course. They know you're here. They yeah. know you're here. It seems that we have a visitor. Is this the right place for the audition? Q again. Aha, so this is the girl. Petra, my dear, you must introduce us. Nico Collard? Senor Suzaro. We have never met, and yet our lives have crossed. For the worst. In your case, that will certainly be true. Flap! Let me guess. Quick time events. So, Bruno no? and I came to Paris. Okay. It was the first time I've been back since... Well, since the last time. I was on the trail of Cesaro and the Dragon Power. We waited till it got dark. Then Bruno led me through the back streets to the place he suspected. I waited while he checked the readings on his mysterious device. My calculations indicate that this is the place. Behind that wall? Are you sure? My machine tells me it is there and I have no reason to doubt it. Okay. Well, let's get inside and take a look. No! I am not going in there. I said I would bring you here and that is what I have done. I am not going in there. Bruno, you're just being paranoid. No, it is only paranoia when they are not out to get you. Okay, <laughs> Bruno, you stay here. You know, the, the story is quite good. The characters are kind of interesting, except for everyone who has bad attitudes. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I don't know, is it, uh, I guess it's like three quarters there, this game. It's just the little things that, that I'm missing out. Anyway, I'm going to take a break here, and then when we come back, we're back with George, we're back in Paris. And we're going to break into more buildings. We do that a lot, don't we? Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs>